In this video I'm gonna talk about electrical engineers their job market in Australia initially we'll uh, look at uh, kind of roles then we'll see what kind of responsibilities these electrical engineers have and uh, what is the salary levels for electrical engineers in Australia so let us start with the roles so you might uh, land up in a role such as electrical engineers senior electrical or control systems engineer then maintenance engineer in electrical senior lead power systems engineer automation engineer in electrical electrical design engineer so these kinds of roles you might get if you are an electrical engineer in and looking for a job in australia now let us uh, take a look at some of the responsibilities or uh, skills you might have to do uh, as a electrical engineer so in one of the jobs uh, for the senior electrical uh, control system engineer they had mentioned these uh, skills or responsibilities degree qualified engineer with rpeq and advantage so rpeq means uh, engineers registered with queensland government so this job is uh, actually for brisbane location so the engineers that are uh, registered with the queensland government they uh, will be qualified or they will have an advantage that's what they are saying here then experience with a wide range of plc rtu sca da types and applications networking and data communication experience electrical engineering design experience practical site experience of electrical and instrumentation systems then experience in hydrocarbons industry would be an advantage but not essential another job uh, they were uh, having this uh, skills mentioned design develop and implement energy storage systems and products including ups grid connected energy systems dc and solar systems experience in ac system design and commissioning working experience knowledge of as nzs 3000 so as actually stands for australian standard nzs stands for new zealand standard so the australian and new zealand government have got some standards just like how in uh, india we have got isi indian standard Similarly, in Australia, we have got these standards. So you need to understand what these standards are. Then previous experience in DC systems and equipment, including batteries. Then in one of the uh, jobs for maintenance engineer, they had mentioned uh, applicant must have a degree in electrical engineering or extensive trades and maintenance experience. Then practical experience across maintenance and instrumentation operations or consulting teams. Proven experience working with pneumatic, hydraulics, automation, PLCs and electrical production equipment. Ability to deliver fault finding and diagnostic services to see maximum output of products and equipment. Experience developing and managing maintenance CMMS and integrated systems and databases. Oracle Maximum, SAP, JD. Experience with inspection techniques, root cause analysis, fitness for service calculations, FMECA, FMEA and equipment hierarchy development. Competence to use data to drive projects and reporting. Then uh, there was another job uh, for a senior systems engineer or lead power systems engineer. Undertake steady state dynamic power quality and short circuit assessment, supporting the principal engineer to manage and deliver high level projects across Australia. Then manage the development of power systems model, databases and study cases. Carry out and lead power systems analysis projects across a range of industries. Have carried out a steady state and uh, dynamic power system studies. Competent use of modeling software packages including but not limited to PSS, Sinkle, Diggs, Silent, Power Factory and ETAP. Experience with National Electricity Rules and gener uh, Generated Performance Standards, GPS. Candidates with experience in aspects of plant electrical systems ranging from process instrumentation, lighting and a small power, motor control, fender package integration, power generation and distribution systems should not hesitate to apply. Then uh, in another job uh, that mentioned you will be involved in preparing discipline design studies calculation and documentation and given the approach to manage discipline uh, specific projects of uh, various sizes from small upgrades to major capital works demonstrated electrical design and engineering experience in one or more of the following sectors utilities power and water renewable energy metals min minerals infrastructure and heavy industry experience in the design and specification of typical electrical infrastructure such as switchboards motor control substations power generation and distribution systems then uh, in one of the job for automation engineers proven experience working with high speed automation equipment within a liquid processing environment dairy beverages petrochemical water treatment there was another job mentioned on the sick where they wanted uh, engineers uh, who have the ability to draft electrical systems experience with autocad agi powercad microsoft office blue beam and revit etc strong conceptual and innovative engineering skills special design criteria system selection through to detailed design drawing specification report demonstrated experience in design and programming of plc and scada systems especially rockwell then in one of the uh, 
jobs that are mentioned undertake power system studies such as load flow studies motor steering studies harmonic studies fault analysis and production coordination studies prepare detailed and accurate written reports that clearly and concisely summarize the objectives results conclusions and recommendations of the project scopes and uh, here they mentioned with the large teams working with large teams the electric engineer will ideally be rp q and have experience working on hv and switching candidates must have site based delivery and commissioning experience on substations and power generation facilities looking at the salary levels uh, normally for fresh graduates uh, you can expect 60 thousand dollars per year then junior level 80,000 senior level 100,000 and manager level 120k onwards if you have any questions let me know through the comments thanks for watching this video